सिक्स्थ मैथ्स चैप्टर थ्री इंटीजर्स प्रैक्टिस सेट फाइव स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस लर्न एडिशन ऑफ इंटीजर्स फर्स्ट वी शैल लर्न यूजिंग अ नंबर लाइन सो योर इज अ स्मॉल एक्टिविटी ऑन द नंबर लाइन रिमेंबर वी शैल शो द रैबिट्स हॉप्स टू द राइट विद पॉजिटिव साइंस and when the rabbit hops towards its left we shall show it with negative signs so let's begin with the first activity you can keep a pencil or a pen ready in case you would like to write the answers in your textbook so kindly open your textbook to page 16 activity at first The rabbit was at the number dash. Where do you see the rabbit? Right, plus one. It hopped dash units to the right. How many units it has hopped? Don't look at the number where the arrow is pointing, but actually count the hops. So plus one to plus two is first hop, plus three second hop, plus four third hop, plus five fourth hop. And plus six is the fifth hop. So five units altogether. Five units to the right. The rabbit has hopped. It is now at the number. Now you see where the arrow is pointing at plus six. So now it is at the number plus six. This tells us that one plus five is equal to here. It is plus one plus. Plus five is equal to plus six. You will say why plus five we have taken again plus five because I mentioned to you earlier the rabbit if it hops to the right we will take the hops as positive. Let's do the second activity. At first the rabbit was at the number where do you see it? Minus two. Correct. So put in the box minus two. It hop dash units to the right. Count one, two, three, four, and five. It hop five units to the right, and now it is at the number right plus three. So you got it minus two plus since it's going to the right plus five in bracket is equal to plus three. We reached at plus three. So to add a positive number to the given number, we move that many units to the right on the number line from the given number. Now next activity. At first, the rabbit was at the number. Look at the rabbit, minus three. It hop dash units to the left. It's hopping to the left, students. So first count the steps. One, two, three, four. It hopped four units to the left. But remember, I told you in the beginning that when it goes towards its left side, the hops will become negative. It is now at the number. Which number the arrow points out at? Minus seven. So let's see the formation here. Minus three. Where the rabbit was at first, plus we are adding integers, so plus. Since it moved towards the left, minus four, four hops to the left means plus minus four is equal to it reached at minus seven. Let's see one more activity. At first, the rabbit was at the number plus three. Okay, so write in the box plus three. It hopped. Dash units to the left. Tell me the answer. Yes, four or minus four. Yes, in the equation when you are solving it, expression you will write as minus four. It hop four units to the left. Why minus four? Because it's going towards its left. It is now at the number. See the arrow? Yes, perfect. It's now at the number minus one. So, boys, plus three 
plus minus 4. Why minus 4 came? You must have understood because it's going towards left. Is equal to answer minus 1. So, to add a negative number to the given number, we move that many units to the left on the number line from the given number. That is, we move backwards and backwards means negative on the number line, which means we subtract. Okay, so this was about how to add integers on a number line. Now, all the time we can't use a number line. So, we are going to remember simple rules. Two simple rules. How to add integers. Okay. The most important thing while adding integers is to look out for the signs. So, the rule number one. Pay attention carefully. Look at the example above. First one. Plus five plus plus three. Five is positive. And three is also positive and in between them is addition sign right now you're learning only about addition so think only about addition of integers so plus 5 you have to add to plus 3 now you can see your both integers are positive so when you're adding integers which have both positive sign you have to add operation is add so 5 plus 3 is 8 and sign you have to give positive. Let's see after that minus 5 plus minus 3 equals to minus 8 is given. Now look here. Look for the signs. Both integers are negative. Same signs. Though negative but they have same signs. So when the integers have same signs your operation is add. Same add. Okay. So, minus 5 plus minus 3, forget the signs, 5 plus 3 is 8. Just add because they have the same signs. In bracket, both the integers, you can see same signs. And then once you finish your operation, 5 plus 3, 8, you give the sign of the sum. That is the sum is having, both integers are having minus sign, so minus sign. Both integers are having positive sign, then positive sign. So our first rule, very simple, when adding integers with the same sign, ignore the sign and add the numbers. Add, just add the numbers. Then give the common sign to them, sum. If the sum is 8 now in the first example, when the integers are positive, we give positive 8. When the integers are negative, we are giving negative, minus 8. So this is your first rule. If both integers have same signs, plus plus or minus minus, just add them, add and give the sign which is given to the sum. Whether it, the, both the integers were plus, then plus answer will come plus. If both integers were minus, then answer will also become minus. Now second rule, what about the integers who are having different signs? For example, minus 8 plus plus 2. 8 is negative, 2 is positive. Or in the other example, 8 is positive and 3 is negative. So, 1 positive, 1 negative. Different signs. Remember, different means difference is there. So, subtract them. Look for the signs first. You got them that they are different. Now, forget the signs and subtract the numbers. So, 8 minus 2 is 6. And give the sign. Now, sign you give of the greater number. 2 is greater or 8 is greater? 8. So, you will give the sign minus because 8 is bearing the sign minus. So, minus 6 is your answer. Whereas, plus 8 plus minus 3 is equal to. Now, again, both are having different signs. So, first step, subtract them. 8 minus 3, 5. And sign of greater number, which is 8, is positive. So, positive 5. So, second rule, when adding integers with different signs, ignore the sign and subtract the smaller number from the bigger one. Then give the sign of the bigger number to the difference obtained. 
you might feel a little confused right now but once you start solving the exercise you are going to enjoy and it's going to be really simple so without wasting any more time let's move towards our practice set 5 okay prop practice set 5 question number 1 add 8 plus 6 you all can do it very nicely 14 9 plus minus 3 now 1 is positive 9 has no sign means it's positive and my 3 is negative different then subtract i've told you both are different then subtract so 9 minus 3 is 6 and greater sign 9 is greater so 6 will be also positive just like 9 wasn't that simple okay let's go to third one 5 plus minus 6 again one positive other one is negative different then we subtract 6 minus 5 is 1 okay the bigger number minus the smaller number you subtract immediately 6 minus 5 1 and sign of greater number now 6 is greater and having minus sign so sign of the answer also will be minus minus 1 is your answer fourth sum minus 7 plus 2 now minus sign is given to first integer and second integer 2 has no sign means it's positive so one is positive other is negative so different so subtract greater number and smaller number will subtract smaller from greater 7 minus 2 5 and sign of greater number is minus so minus 5 fifth sum minus 8 plus 0 equals to now minus and plus is minus so 8 minus 0 is 8 and sign of greater number minus minus 5 plus minus 2 both are negative negative i have told you when both are the same signs you have to add 5 plus 2 7 and sign which the sum bears both the integers are having minus sign so we will have to keep the sign minus so this way we have completed question number 1 question number 2 complete the following table minus 2 plus 8 equals to now plus and minus operation is minus 8 minus 2 6 sign of greater number positive 6 plus 8 14 0 plus 8 8 minus 4 plus 8 different so subtract 8 minus 4 4 bigger number has positive sign so plus 4 next minus 2 plus 4 4 minus 2 2 and greater number is positive answer remains positive 6 plus 4 10 0 plus 4 4 4 minus 4 plus 4 Different sign subtract 4 minus 4 0 and 0 will not have any sign. Remember boys, 0 will not have any sign. Minus 2 plus minus 3. Minus 2 minus 3 both negative means add. Same signs, both integers are having same signs. Okay, so add 3 plus 2 5 and sign will remain minus because the sum had minus sign both the integers 6 plus minus 3 one positive one negative different subtract 6 minus 3 3 sign of greater number 3 0 minus minus 3 different so 3 minus 0 is 3 and greater number minus 3 minus 4 plus minus 3 both signs are same minus minus so add 4 plus 3 7 and sign of the integers is minus so minus Minus 2 plus minus 5. Both signs are same. Minus minus. So add 5 plus 2 7. And sign of the integers is minus. So minus 6. 6 plus minus 5. Both are different signs. So subtract. 6 minus 5 1. And greater digit has got positive sign. So plus 1. 0 plus minus 5. 
different signs subtract pi minus 0 is pi and greater number has negative so minus pi minus 4 plus minus pi equals now both are having same sign minus minus so obviously we are going to add pi plus 4 9 but since the integers had negative sign we are going to write minus 9 as our answer i hope practice set 5 is clear to you dear children without practice you won't be able to understand the concept so kindly practice the sums in your book thank you